Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. This is Stu Jones with the Florida Power Boat Club, and we are introducing the epic series, once again, 2019 edition of the Key West Offshore Poker Run, with a total of at least 10 episodes coming to you here on YouTube. Getting things kicked off here with episode one and feature coverage of this event, which has taken us to an all-time high in registration, 269 registered poker run teams from all over United States, Canada, and from around the globe are taking part in this seven-day power boating adventure. And let's thank our key sponsors. First of all, this event is presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open. And returning as our grand prize sponsor, offleaseonly.com, the nation's used car destination. And of course, we would like to thank all of our feature sponsors as represented here on the event masthead, which also doubles as our event posters, banners, and the back of our souvenir t-shirts. All of these companies are the leading performance marine industry manufacturers, as well as these other supporting sponsors who return to join us for this epic Key West event every year. So gang, let's get right to it with the Wednesday departure, which will include about 66 teams uh, registered out of the 269 teams, 66 are going to depart today, and we kick things off here from one of our two marina partners. This is Hallover Marine Center in North Miami Beach, and the other location is Grove Harbor Marina in Coconut Grove. At both locations, all of the teams are getting ready, getting into the water, getting the boats fueled up and loaded up with luggage as the teams gather for the departure, which is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. And if you're just like me and you take a look into this building and look down to the other end and see that it's as long as three football fields, it kind of is overwhelming in many ways to see so many of these big power boats up in racks, uh, five high, and these mammoth 70,000-pound uh, uh, Wiggins forklifts picking them up and getting them into the water, picking them up like they don't even weigh anything, like little toy model boats. Uh, but that's what's so impressive about getting down here a little bit early on one of the departure days because there's so much going on and everybody is scurrying around uh, getting the boats uncovered uh, getting their numbers and their decals put onto the deck because that's the way we do things and of course we did have a captain's meeting the night earlier at Duffy's where we went over all of the important safety precautions for the event and of course we addressed all of the boating logistics of this course today which will be about 180 miles from Hallover Marine Center here uh, and that's a long ways to go and when you're doing it with a lot of boats it's important to have a good meeting and outline uh, all of the plans for the day and answer all the questions especially for a lot of the first timers I mean this event is kind of a bucket list poker run for so many participants so we're going to see on this event a lot of power boats that we have not seen on a Florida Power Boat Club event and then, of course, there's the veterans like the Janucci's here in their cigarette who have done this event year after year, and they just keep coming back because they absolutely love it. And I think that the staff at Hall of a Marine Center really handled all of the staging and the logistics that goes along with putting so many boats out into the water and getting them ready overnight and uh, off the docks in the morning. It's a lot of heavy lifting, guys. Let me say this. Uh, I've been in the marine business as many years as I have, and the gang at Hall of a Marine Center really make it look easy. And as overwhelming as it can be, well, they certainly don't show it uh, because the machines are going steady. Look at the size of these Wiggins forklifts, and they're picking up big boats like this 48-foot MTI, and they're handling them uh, like it's just all in a day's business, uh, which is really the way it needs to be. Uh, at a marina like this which handles so many high performance boats day in and day out now of course we've got the bagels and the coffee and the lovely ladies uh, Jackie and her team uh, there's Marissa and I think Sarah alongside Jackie uh, got all of the bagels and coffee ordered uh, several weeks before so there's plenty of food hot coffee toasters for the bagels lots of spreads some smoked salmon uh, some nice fancy cookies and muffins a little bit of everything for everybody as miss jackie says and i think the important thing is that we don't call it gourmet but it is fresh and it's good comfort food for the morning because we've got a huge lunch planned ahead of us when we arrive at gilbert's in key largo just a couple of hours later 
and the display of high performance hardware is not limited to the boats as Offlease only has provided us with this BMW i8 demo which will be one of our display cars down at the Key West Poker Run Village. And it's nice to see that a lot of the teams are already wearing their souvenir t-shirts. I think that's uh, Chip Miller. He's going to be driving a skater today. And if they're not wearing our souvenir tees, well, they're wearing their own souvenir tees, uh, like Todd Fountain and his crew here in the Team Tomcat, a 46 skater that comes to the event every year. And here's a great shot just to see how many boats we have in the water ready to go here at Holliver Marine Center. And remember, it's only Wednesday, the early departure, and we've got the big departure is going to be on Thursday. So you can just imagine how many moving parts there are to getting all these boats ready and staged here in the morning. And a very, very special welcome to my new biggest fans, Joey and Dominic Lascola. Came all the way from Hyannis, Mass. with their dad's 37-foot outer limits, and they are revved up and ready to go. And I know the first question that a lot of you may have if you're planning to do this event is, do I put my boat in the water on the night before, or do I let Hallover Marina launch it on the morning of? Well, if you're a storage customer here, and you keep your boat on a rack, or, or your boat is on a work rack here on land, you're better off to just leave it on land the night before. They're gonna put it in in the morning and get you ready to go. But if you're coming in on a trailer from out of town and you still have fueling or some small or minor repairs to do, you really got to get in the water the day before or at least two days before. And I see Sarah and Marissa heading for the dock. And to me, that signals that the girls are getting ready to hand off the poker cards. And that means it's probably time to get these docks cleared off too. So this staging area, this floating dock, does need to be cleared off completely uh, because the management here at Holover Marine Center wanted us to do a poker card from the dock. Uh, we thought it was going to be a little bit congested to do that, but we said, what the heck, let's give it a try. So this is going to be a great opportunity for us to check in on some of our teams, uh, starting off with Sean and Siglin Mo, who are enjoying their first Key West poker run in this MTI 42V. Not their first rodeo with the club, but it's their first time with this new MTI. And speaking of MTIs, you're going to see more MTIs on this event than ever before. Today alone, we have 13 registered MTI teams uh, as Mark puts on his decal on his 40 MTI. And say hi to Taylor Sism as she preps that 34 MTI cat. Getting ready for the ride down to Key West today and representing the MTI factory team here on the Key West run. Well, we gave a lot of those teams uh, their first card, but our first physical handoff with the long pole goes to Barry and Stephanie Henson. They're poker run veterans here with Florida Powerboat Club, but it is their first event with that 50 skater. And let's welcome back Fred and Judy Revis. Uh, says they're from South Carolina. Well, yes, they are, but they also have a home in Lighthouse Point, Florida. They're going to be running their MTI 48 today, Twin Mercury Racing 1350s. And let's welcome Yvonne as she picks up the card for Team Mad Props. Uh, Greg Harris at the controls. And we're going to see a lot of this boat on this particular episode and throughout the poker run. It's one of 12 skaters running today on the Wednesday run. Now let's welcome Trent Toon. It's his uh, first event with the Florida Powerboard Club. He's not far from home, just Lighthouse Point. He came down uh, with this Intrepid 37 called Livin' Hoot. So let's welcome Trent and his crew on their very first Key West Offshore Poker Run. And it's time to welcome back the Genucci team. Uh, they have done this event many, many times. Frank Sr. and your Frank Jr. Team Funzalow. Kind of like that team name, it's got a nice catch to it. And I think it goes without saying that these 38 and 39 Top Guns are just really a staple here in the performance boat scene in South Florida. Uh, but just looking back at the boat here as we pull wide, you can't really see the graphics. They've re redone the boat uh, with new paint and I think they did a wonderful job. I grabbed uh, some video of it with my phone earlier when I was on the deck of the boat. And just look at the depth of this paint job. I'm not sure who painted it, but I really love how this deck turned out. It's just beautiful. And that's very timely to see my Project 1080 cigarette come up to the dock, uh, sponsored by Mercury Racing. And we have Ted Hosmer and his lady on board today because Ted had some last minute issues getting his Donzi ready for the poker run, but he was fully registered. And I said, well, you know what, Ted? 
uh, jump on board and uh, ride with us down to Key West. And he was really happy about that, and it worked out great for everyone. And we're starting to see now some more of these boats as they funnel out of the marina. Uh, another big skater there, uh, Don Doty and his crew. You can see there's still a lot of boats at the dock and uh, just getting ready to pull out now. It takes a while to execute this whole one by one leaving the marina and getting a poker card. I'm not sure that it's uh, a good idea when you have a large group of boats in the basin and it gets a little congested. And, you know, I think that we might take a second look at this whole process as we, you know, consider the Key West 2020 event because it really does create a little bit of bottlenecking. And, you know, when you have a big machine like this brand new MTI 390X and your sponsor, Randy Sism, I mean, I'm sure he's quite comfortable <laughs> you know, on the throttles and he could drive the boat, but, you know, you don't want to have any fender benders or any issues uh, pulling out of the marina. And when it's a little bit overcrowded, sometimes that can be a little uh, tense for some of the drivers. And congratulations to MTI. Uh, they unveiled that 39 the previous night right here at Hallover Marine Center. And a quick shout out to this team. They came all the way from Switzerland to join us uh, in this 38 skater that they purchased from another club member just a couple months earlier. And let's welcome Don Haddon and her husband Don at the helm uh, in their 28 foot Belzona team, Dangerously Naughty. They've had a lot of fun with this boat this year. They joined us for the Bimini Fun Run in September, and now they're gonna do that long blast all the way to Key West and back. Look at the bright colors of this 28 Belzona. I think it's the only all purple boat we have in the club. And let's welcome Chip Miller and his lady as they pick up their first card from this 40-foot skater. They came all the way from Michigan to attend. Now we're saying hi to Sarah and Wynn Farnsworth on this 42 Wright Performance Cat. The first time we've seen this boat on a poker run, and I believe it is their first time using it for the Key West run. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they took delivery of this boat just a few days prior to the poker run, so it's going to be their first time to get her dialed in. Notice it's got a pair of those new Mercury Racing 450Rs. The 36 and 42 Wright Performance Cats are exclusive to Performance Boat Center, one of our event sponsors. Now let's welcome John Wittenberger and his 36-foot Sonic. They came all the way from New Jersey and have probably set a record for the year. I believe he's done at least five or six poker runs with Florida Powerboat Club in this boat over the course of this year. This is the only registered Sonic out of 269 teams on this event. And ironically, this event started as a Sonic owner's rally going to Key West back in 1993. Time certainly changes things. And here again is that one and only Team Tomcat all the way from Michigan. I want to say Todd's done this event at least three or four years in a row with this boat. Uh, but we also see them do a lot of events up in Michigan during the summer months. We saw them at the Boyne Thunder Poker Run on Lake Charleroi when we visited there last July. And let's welcome back Scott Witt all the way from Virginia with his crew. Uh, not their first rodeo. They've done this event before, but it looks like Scott got bit by the cat bug. Uh, he originally did this event in a 38-foot formula, but now he seems to be enjoying this 33-foot DCB powered by twin Mercury 400Rs. And keeping a strong international representation, Sebastian Follen from Sweden and his team Fountain. Uh, they came a long ways to attend, as well as that team on the other side of them from Switzerland. I continued to be amazed at just how many teams will make that transatlantic crossing with their boats to come and join us here for the Key West run. And as we continue to build our friendships with these European teams, I can only say it's just a matter of time before we start heading over and doing some of these amazing European poker run events in the summer months. And we have seen a lot of this team, Craig and Paula Ackerman from Georgia in their 34 foot MTI team, see ya. They are truly enjoying the boat and they even brought their insurance guy, Devin Wolzencraft, along for the ride. Now let's welcome another newcomer team, Rob and Terry Turner in Turner Up, 34-foot Nortec powered by triple 350 Verados and coming a long way from Michigan to join us. Thanks, guys. And another one of our Canadian Poker Run veterans, Kevin Primer from Ontario, has done this event so many times I've lost count and in so many different kinds of boats. It 
once upon a time was a fountain and that became a statement but now he's enjoying this 34 foot MTI cat and he told me it's only a matter of time before he's in the new 39. And of course it's apparent that these new 34 MTIs are wildly popular as Bo and Bilge Gregory join us now all the way from Arizona. Now let's welcome this very spirited team, Michael Tandoy, all the way from New York with this 35 foot motion cat, Team Reckless Endangerment. And another very nice sensation, of course, they are sponsors of this event, uh, as well as Performance Boat Center, their largest dealer. Not sure who this boat is. Uh, this is looks like a 34 CCX. They didn't get a card and there's no decal displayed, so chances are this is not a registered poker run boat. Guys, it's really easy. FLPowerBoat.com, look us up or give us a call. We'd love to have you. Now let's welcome back a Team Glassstream, A.L. Kirkland and his lady Cruz uh, with their 36-foot Glassstream. They are event sponsors for this Key West Poker Run, and that's a first time for them. And they have been very active over the years with our Emerald Coast Powerboat event up in the Destin area, but I'm so happy that they came the rest of the way and participated with us, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of this Team Glassstream on our Poker Run events. And please join me in welcoming another new team. Evan Bangs came all the way from Texas with his 35-foot Donzi team implicated. Now, the only other Donzi that was registered for the Wednesday group was Ted Hosmer, uh, and his boat didn't make it. He's riding with me, so this becomes the only Donzi on the Wednesday departure of the Key West Poker Run. And that surprises me because Donzi was such a big brand with us for so many years. And I think that these 35 and 38 ZR models are much older, but they're great boats for doing repower projects. Now let's say hi to Chris Miller all the way from Oklahoma and this 30 foot Spectre team, never enough. And this boat for me is a real blast from the past because it has been in the club since day one, probably been through at least three or four different owners over the years. So Chris, I hope you're enjoying the boat. It has a lot of pedigree with this organization. Now let's welcome Curtis Mulch from New Jersey, another cigarette owner today, Team Gunslinger, one of about seven cigarettes running on this Wednesday departure group. His first time doing the Key West Poker Run in this 35 Top Gun, which was a departure from the old school 35 Cafe Racer. Now let's welcome Chris Colson, one of two Sensations running today, 32 Sensation. Team HTO, and look really closely, he's got his little baby girl on board today. Something that Dad was very proud of, as he should be. And for our final card here at Hullover Marine Center, Greg Roth, all the way from Ontario, Canada, with his Hustler 388 Slingshot, all custom painted. What a great looking boat. And I had a chance to meet Greg the night earlier. It's his first time doing the Key West Poker Run. And you could see what a great job he did with this 38 Hustler, which he named Team Baby Blue Bayou. And it goes without saying, special thanks to all of the team at Hullover Marine Center for managing all of those logistics of getting all these boats in the water and getting all of us safely off the dock this morning. And meanwhile, as our poker run teams prepare for departure through Hullover Inlet and out into the ocean waters, our FPC photo and video team is going to include Joe in the back seat shooting videos. Looks like he's got his GoPro stick ready to go today. Jerry in the front seat. He's going to be shooting photo stills. And we're flying today in this Hot Rod Robinson 44. It's a Clipper 2. Uh, which has a lot of power and it's got those uh, actuated floats if they ever do have to dump into the water. But they've made their flight down from Pompano Beach now and have now arrived here at uh, Hullover Inlet flying over everybody as we prepare for that start. And you can see there's a wide variety of boats out on the water here today. And a number of the teams actually came from other marinas like TNT Marine Center is nearby just uh, two or three miles away. A lot of boats came out of that marina as well to meet with us and of course some of them have come from their own personal and private docks uh, in the general area. Altogether, about 66 boats running today. The rest of them we're going to pick up over at Grove Harbor Marina momentarily. But you can see the variety in boats. Three classes, as always, sport boat, performance class, and high performance class like these big, fast catamarans. 
Today we're running in Project 1080. She's a 38-foot cigarette sponsored by Mercury Racing and equipped with a pair of Mercury Racing 540 stern drives. That puts us in the performance boat class today. We are going to be running about 65 to 70 miles per hour. Uh, that's about as fast as the Project 1080 goes. She's not a hot rod. Most certainly 20 years ago when this hull was built, it was a hot rod, but nowadays with these high-speed catamarans running 100 plus all day long, we're just gonna be happy to sit back in the middle of the pack and enjoy the ride. And as always, we ask everybody to be very careful as we depart from Hallover Inlet. It gets a little crowded going through the pass, and we've got to idle uh, through the bridge area, and then we go on plane once we clear the bridge and head out into the middle of the pass. And I think that many of you know, especially you uh, YouTubers out there, uh, that there's many channels that are covering the video footage of boats coming and going through Hallover Inlet. And the reason for that is it's pretty dramatic at times, especially with the strong outgoing tide and a strong east wind. Uh, that creates a situation where the inlet is extremely turbulent and can be very dangerous at times. Today, it's not that bad, just a little choppy as we have light winds out of the east. And as you watch these guys, that illustrates that they really paid attention and did things right, uh, waiting until they passed through the bridge before they got up on plane. Altogether going to be about four cameras shooting this, one from our Project 1080 on board. Another is going to be a drone that's flying around the inlet. And we have ZipSap Power is going to be our guest videographer today. Uh, they're on the sticks. That's a tripod sitting uh, in the inlet and going to be getting some great shots as the boats come out. This is actually from that ZipZap camera. So we want to thank Ked and his team. We're going to be working more closely with them as we pick up all the footage of the boats departing all over inlet. This is John Wittenberger and his 36-foot Sonic Roadster. It's a center console twin outboard as he carefully nudges the throttles up on plane, keeps his crew safe as he passes through this turbulent inlet. And now here's a team that we saw a lot of actually in our final episode of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run. Uh, episode 6, uh, Jim and Lynn Archambault, they closed off the show in their 43-foot outer limits. And so there they are starting the show here for our first episode with the Key West Poker Run coverage. And if any of you guys are asking, well, why didn't he jam the throttles? That's not exactly how to do this safely. When you get into a very turbulent inlet like this, it's just better to take your time, get through the inlet safely, and get out into the open waters before you hammer down. And of course, Todd Fountain is a veteran here on this Key West Poker Run, does the event every year with his 46 skater called Team Tomcat. And of course, this is our fourth camera viewpoint, this from the helicopter. And what these multiple cameras can do is get us these money shots like Frank Jr. and Sr., the Janucci's coming out with their 39 Top Gun. And you can see how some teams are picking the pace up a little. But this is a critical stage of the poker run, guys. Remember, you're just starting the event. You got 175, 180 miles to go. And what you do in this first 60 seconds going out through Hallover Inlet may very well determine how your day or how your poker run week is going to go. Because if you have a screw up here in this inlet and you stuff a wave and fill the boat up with water, you could be messing with your crew. They could be very upset. Your wife's going to be smacking you in the head. Uh, above all, you're probably going to get some of your instruments wet and you could have some uh, mechanical failures. So I think it's important to really be careful in this first stage and just manage your own boat. Forget about what the guy's doing beside you. Forget about that other boat or those other boats. Just manage your own program. And if you don't like what you see or feel, back the throttles off and take your time and get through it safely. And this is why these uh, videos that are coming up on YouTube that like Zip Zap Power puts out are so exciting to watch because so many different things can happen here. Now let's welcome Mark and Jennifer Shouten from Arizona, a brand new 42 MTI Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. What a nice ride and uh, he's doing the right thing, just taking it easy as he makes his way out through the pass. We're gonna do the same thing right here on Project 1080. It says Stu and Jackie Jones. Well, of course, Jackie is back at Hallover Marine Center uh, taking care of all the teams as they check in. And she's gonna be staying in Miami, prepping and getting things ready for that huge Wednesday night check-in for the Thursday departure group. Meanwhile, we're just gonna take our time uh, just getting out of Hallover Inlet. You can see I'm barely on the throttles. I'm just trying to get the boat up on plane and a nice easy ride attitude so I can see over the bow. One thing I haven't done yet is put my air deflectors up and I really should have done that because if we do happen to stuff a wave or get a little bit wet, 
those uh, air deflectors typically will stop that water from hitting me in the face. Now, as I said earlier, guys, it's, uh, you know, time to get in the groove, and it's sometimes not that easy to do that. As soon as you exit the inlet, remember, it's extremely turbulent uh, for several hundred yards around the inlet because there's a lot of water moving through. So that's what Greg Harris is doing right now. He's taking his time to just get through those big swells. Remember, you know, it's a 32-foot boat. It's not like it's a 48 MTI or a big 50 skater. It's 32 foot, so he still has to, you know, be mindful of that swell and it's quite easy for him to dip his nose into that next wave and really soak everybody on the boat but he's doing the right thing here taking his time we brought it down to slow motion just to show you that he's really just saying okay mother nature you win I'm just gonna do the best I can to get through it and keep my crew dry and keep my equipment working right and that's really all he did once he got out of that mess he got the boat into a groove. He was able to throttle up and get it running nicely. So good job, Greg. Uh, obviously not his first rodeo. And we're still continuing with our teams as they exit Hallover Inlet. Josh and Terry Ann Pierce from Kansas in their 42-foot fountain, The Animals. And once again, doing a great job. You can see he just barely got the boat on plane. He kept the nose up so he was safe and kept everybody dry. And a nice shot from our drone. I would say that's the money shot. Two European teams. That was Karsten Melcher in the Donzi. And here now is George Takula from Sweden. And he's got a 44-foot Predator, Twin Mercury Racing 1350s. Not afraid of the rough stuff. And another team doing this event for their very first time, Michael Tandoy from New York in this 35-foot motion. And as many of the others have done, very cautious and even though this is a sit down boat there they are standing up so he's got a great viewpoint to get himself through the rough stuff and get the boat into some more calm water before he throttles up and continuing on with the pack now greg roth from canada in his 388 hustler team baby blue by you uh, getting a good shot of that boat now He's just doing the same thing now, taking his time. You know, he's Canadian. You know, they're very cautious people. <laughs> what can I say? But he's being smart is what he's doing. And I really respect all of you guys for how well you maneuvered your way through this inlet. I don't know what the guy was doing in the little dinghy there, if he thought he was getting a nice vantage point. But uh, I don't think he's in the safest place right now with his family on that little 10-foot dinghy while we're all racing through the inlet. Evan Bangs now from Texas, 35-foot Don Z ZR. Uh, once again, doing the right thing, taking it easy, keeping everybody safe. And while I get a chance, I just want to thank one more time a Zip Zap Power, my friend Ked, who started doing these inlet video sequences for YouTube back in 2013. And he's been the only game in town doing it for the last seven or eight years. Everybody else has copied his format, and some of them are being a little underhanded in the way they operate, uh, covering up and blocking his camera viewpoints and cranking up nasty music in the background to wash out his audio. Uh, that's just underhanded crap. You know who you are out there that's doing it. You better stop doing it because your viewers are going to find out, and that won't go over very well, I can assure you. Catching up to Chris Miller now, and wow, he catches a little bit of air off that wave. Nice recovery. <laughs> I could hear him yell, I'm okay, I'm okay. And here we go now, up to speed as we catch up with Greg and Yvonne now, putting on a great show in their 32-foot skater. This is what we came for, guys. Once we get through that mess in the inlet, this is where the fun is being had, and they are running just fantastic. 32-foot skater team, Mad Props, powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Just listen to these engines roar. And this is what we love to see, a nice wide shot from the helicopter as everyone gets up to speed. You can see the conditions really aren't that bad once you get out here. And uh, you can see everyone's got their boats uh, managed up to a good speed now, 55, 60 easily. As we now zoom in on Craig and Frank Scola, came all the way from Massachusetts with their two boys, Joy and Dominic. It took them 10 years of planning to get here and they finally made it. They said they had a great time and they can't wait to do it again. The best part for the boys was, well, of course, meeting me, right? And what a great shot of this 37 Outer Limits. He says it's built to military spec, and I believe him the way it's running. It's Caterpillar diesels with Arneson surface drives. That's some pretty rugged equipment, and diesel-powered in a world that is 
pretty much dominated by gasoline power. But you can see that they are getting on it today. I love the colors and the custom paint on this boat. As dad yells out, look, mom, no hands. <laughs> but I love the spirit of this family and so glad you guys could make it on our signature Key West Poker Run event. And we look forward to seeing you guys again. And here is a one-off boat and a very unique individual driving it. Uh, George Takula, all the way from Finland and uh, Sweden and Switzerland. Well, he's like one of these European multinationals. We don't really know where he's from. And of course, George, you know I'm only joking, but he speaks perfect English and has made it very clear that we are invited to go and join them on any of their poker runs in the summer months. And it still amazes me to this day that he ships this boat back and forth between Florida and Northern Europe every year, and a lot of his boating friends are following his lead. So thank you, George, for your support and for being such a loyal international member. And therefore, a very appropriate transition now to Sebastian Folin from Sweden. And they're another team that just shipped their boat all the way from Europe to come here and be a part of this Key West Poker Run event. So keeping the international numbers strong. Thanks, guys. I think it's an amazing accomplishment, and we appreciate you coming all the way to be with us. And we are going to wrap up episode one's coverage here with Wynn Farnsworth and his lady Sarah on board at this right performance, a 42-foot cat team doing it right. It's the very first one that we have in our club, powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. I know Wynn's been waiting for this boat for a while. He got a custom paint job put on, and he's very excited to be using it for his very first time. So congratulations on your new boat, Wynn, and thanks to Performance Boat Center for putting him in such a nice ride. We're going to wrap things up now, guys, uh, as we kick off Key West Poker Run 2019, 27 years with members of the Florida Power Boat Club, and it doesn't get much better than this with our signature poker run event reaching an all-time high of 269 registered teams. So congratulations to Wynn and to Sarah as we get that money shot to close off episode number one with our feature coverage. On our next show will be episode two. We are going to continue with the boats offshore as we run from Miami down through the ocean waters and back over to the protected waters of Biscayne Bay where we are about to do another card checkpoint at Grove Harbor Marina in Coconut Grove and pick up the rest of the pack, which is going to be about another 25 power boats from all over the country who have been staging at Grove Harbor overnight. Altogether, 66 boats going to continue riding with them down through the Florida Keys, making our stopover in Key Largo for lunch, as well as continuing to marathon for an alternative lunch stop, fuel, and of course, head right on into Key West. It's all right here on YouTube. Remember, don't just watch us subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get all the updates every time a new episode is released in the meantime you can follow us on facebook at florida powerboat club and get us online at flpowerboat.com where we have all of the updates about upcoming events and cancellations in this case yes of course it's coronavirus time as we get through this pandemic together we've got to continue to show solidarity with the social distancing and let's just come to grips with the harsh reality that it's going to be a little while, guys, before we can all get together and enjoy our power boating lifestyles. But meanwhile, we're going to be here in the studio delivering you fresh content as fast as we possibly can, about three new episodes a week. And uh, we're thinking about you guys, and of course, we miss you. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. If you do get a chance to get out boating, be sure to be respectful to your fellow boaters, follow the social distancing guidelines, and always wear your life jackets to be safe. See you later, guys. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event.